This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com, a fantastic site for retro games, systems, accessories, and more. Be sure to check out StoneAgeGamer.com. Skip it up and that up. So a friggin' billion of you. All right, that's bullshit. Maybe a few hundred of you asked me to talk about the new Call of Duty, the uh, Advanced Warfare. I don't know why that name can't sink in my head. I try to I have to keep on looking at the title to remember it. Uh, there's a new trailer that's out. It has Kevin Spacey in it. I like his monologue in it. And it's Call of Duty. Again. Like it's been every year. Again. And you guys want me to give my take on it. Again. So, here we go. So I'm gonna do a quick survey here, okay? Show of imaginary hands, because I can't really see them. Who here has bought Call of Duty before? I'm raising my fat hand. Who here has enjoyed Call of Duty before? I'm raising my fat hand again. Who here has hated Call of Duty, but still bought it anyway because you know that once in a while, you can have an amazing experience with the game and it does have some of the best first-person shooter controls out there. I'm raising my large gorilla hand again. See, it's funny, I was on uh, Gaming Battlegrounds. It's a Facebook gaming group. I'll have a link to it below in the description. I think it's a closed group. Uh, but you can request, I believe, to be entered in, and I recommend it, because it's a fun group. But a lot of people on there, after the Call of Duty reveal, posted, like, these diagrams of the Call of Duty love-hate cycle, where, oh, they, people see the new trailer, they lose their minds, they go crazy, they're excited for the game, they get the game, they love it for a few weeks, then they hate it, they say Call of Duty's a piece of shit, they trade it in, and then they see the next Call of Duty game, and they love it again, and yada, 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 and yeah, okay, it's true. But here's the thing that I've realized ages ago, but it really sunk in when I was playing Titanfall, which I love Titanfall, by the way, is that it's not the games that piss you off. Yes, Call of Duty has flaws, and there's been shittier ones, and there's been better ones. It's the community. It's the people that play the games. I was playing Titanfall, and there was people camping everywhere in this one map, and there was this one guy who was in this certain area that was virtually impossible to get to him, and he was just picking people off like he was a fat guy at a buffet. He was just, ah, I feel like shooting him, she like shooting him, you know, and he, even though you were in Titans, it's still, he was, he died a couple times, but he just went right back there. And that made me realize it's the community. It's the people playing the game that ruins these fucking games. And I think all of us subconsciously realize that that's why we keep going back to COD. We know it's a good first person shooter. We know it has good controls. We know the multiplayer when it works right is phenomenal. But we also, and we realize that what ruins these games is the douchebags that play them. Look at what just happened with Titanfall where people, I think it was on the PC, where they were using aimbots. Okay, they were they were buying aimbots to give them an unfair advantage. That ruins the game. And also, if you think about it, before Battlefield 4, it was funny how everyone was saying that Battlefield was the better experience, Battlefield was more stable, it had dedicated servers. Then Battlefield 4 came around, and people started changing their fucking tune. And that game is still a mess from what I hear to this day. I play it from time to time. I don't hate Battlefield 4. I have it for the PC and for the PS4. But yeah, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. And I think people who went away from Call of Duty and went over to Battlefield 4 thinking it was going to be an uber superior experience realize that other developers fuck up a lot too. They're still quote unquote patching that game to this day. And it's been out for almost a year. That's a problem. So here is the reality of it. I've hated on Call of Duty hard before. You guys remember during the Modern Warfare 3 days, I was raging on the game constantly. But you're probably like me too if you've purchased Call of Duty, more than one version of it in the past, that you have a love-hate relationship with the series. And you keep going out and buying it like I do because you know that when it works well, it's one of the best online gaming experiences you can have. And that's why we and a million other people keep coming back to Call of Duty because we know when it works right, it's a euphoric online gaming first person shooter experience i am playing call of just to show you how many people play this fucking game i'm playing call of duty black ops 2 on the wii u right now which should be a ghost town and you could find a match as soon as you go into online multiplayer that's how popular call of duty is so you could hate it all you want to 
There has to be a reason that millions upon millions of people keep buying it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.